any expert or advisor or consultant also, so not only auditor in the company. So even if you're giving a tax advice, uh, if you're giving any incorrect or misleading statement to the company, uh, or for any other fraudulent, unlawful, or wrongful act or conduct or likely act or conduct of the expert, then even for tax advice, there could be class action suit. So we need to be careful. I think that's about it. Thank you very much, uh, Dinesh Bhai, for a very, I would say, a marathon exposition, a very brilliant one. A lot of uh, questions, you know, come to our mind. Uh, one is whether it would be viable to do business in India with these companies that are in the corporate entity form. For the professionals, I think we need to gear up to update our knowledge in a manner that we can advise our client. And the corporates, I think, they are not in the geared up to, you know, comply with any of this uh, law which is uh, likely to be notified uh, from it. But anyway, it was a very insightful presentation, and thank you very much. Uh, may I now request, uh, may I have to propose a world is a well bigger work of thanks. Friends, uh, Nilesh Bhai in his initial remarks had mentioned that we will be thinking twice before uh, incorporating a company. So I think so after the session you all will agree that um, whatever Nilesh Bhai has said, we will be really thinking twice. I think so LLP would be a better option in few of the cases. And, um, he, in a, in a very concise and uh, detailed way, has explained as the proposed amendments affecting private companies, uh, private, uh, private companies and uh, unlisted public companies. Vilesh um, Bhai, I, on behalf of the chamber and the audience, propose a hearty vote of thanks for sparing your time and from your busy schedule and making it possible to give uh, guide us through the proposed amendment. Friends, request to join your hands. What a good